Welcome. Welcome back to my project. Anyways, guys, what's up? Welcome back. Um, we are back on the S2000 today. Um, just a little recap for those of you that may be new to the channel. We are currently working on making mounts for this thing. When I left off last video, I wasn't sure if I was going to move the engine back any further or if I was going to cut the cross bracing that is spot welded inside the trans tunnel. I have decided I'm going to cut that bracing a little bit just for clearance around the uh, tail housing of the T56. The engine is about as far back as it needs to be. I'm pretty happy with where it's sitting, so we're going to leave that there. Um, first things first, though, I'm out of welding gas. So the welding spot place closes at noon today. So I'm going to run, go get some welding gas, come back, pull this engine out. Cut the trans tunnel a little more and then start working on making the mounts for the engine and then we'll worry about the transmission mount after that so let's get rolling so i was on my way to the welding supply store to get some welding gas and had to make a little stop because i just found the coolest car in the city of course it's windier and shit out here so you're not gonna be able to hear any of this but check this out oh baby she looks good not all rusted out got a few uh whiskey dents in her but no big deal we need to figure out who owns that thing guys because uh i'm gonna need it got my 75 25 refilled and i'm ready to pull this engine out again for the 95th time getting really good at this can do it lickety split watch here we go again it's gonna pull our engine and transmission again Oh, here we go again. It's also always a good thing to leave your light under the car on. That way when you come back to the garage, it's completely dead. You don't really want that charged anyways. Whoops. Might have forgot we mounted our shifter on there for mock-up and now we're kind of stuck on it still. So. You little. Beep. And there we go. She's out again for the 1700th time. We are hitting right there on that bracing that's spot welded to the body. Mainly right there. So we're going to go ahead and cut that out. too deluxe is it old harbor freight special got me on that one oh, come on come on baby there we go all right here's a closer look at what we got going on so it ain't the prettiest but we clean that up with the little die grinder clean our edges up and we'll be able to just boop box this in with some sheet metal and it'll still be plenty strong for our trans mount to go across here i'm not worried about that may need to take a little out up here but i'm gonna try to fit it with this first and we might be in good shape there so let's try that and see all right guys took a little break got the shop cleaned up while the air compressor ran and the heater ran so I think before I put this engine back in here, I'm gonna start working on the lower mounting plates for the engine that bolt to the stock location on the subframe. So I got these little tube mounts off the Jungle website. And I think my plan is gonna to be to make a plate that bolts on in the stock engine mount location on the subframe. And then we'll have these somewhere about here coming up off of that plate. And then on the side of our engine block, I will just have some regular old mounting plates here that come over to about here with, this will be here maybe. And you know, 
we'll have some tabs coming off of that to bolt to this. You get the idea. But in this case, I'm gonna use a little bit of tape because we have so much curvature here, here, and here. I wanna make sure I get the shape right first, and then we can transfer it over to our poster board or maybe even just transfer it straight to our metal piece. Just mark this here. And you get the idea. All right, so we're about to find out if old steady hand is on it today because we are gonna cut these out with the plasma. Also guys, nowadays, it's almost silly not to have a plasma cutter if you're gonna be doing a lot of fab work. I think I got this one, well, my wife bought it for Christmas. I wanna say it was like 150 bucks on sale on Black Friday though. And it'll cut, I've cut quarter with it and clean cut no problem. So it's definitely worth investing $150 in. Took me a minute to remember where I put the old punch at. Um, I like to go ahead and mark my holes and punch them out before I cut everything because this makes it a little easier. Pro tip, go down to the Harbor Freighter. Get yourself some of these cheap unibits. Won't regret it. They do some damage. Conduct electricity without a good ground. Ain't gonna lie to you guys. I'm not the best with a free hand on the plasma cutter. Um, this turned out all right. We'll clean it up on the belt grinder. Just had that one really bad wavering right there. The rest of it, I'm actually pretty happy with myself. That's a pretty decent cut. So we're gonna go see how this fits on there and then clean this up with the belt grinder a little bit and then uh, mark up a new one and make it. Hard to be mad at that. Um, our holes line up just perfect. Like I said, a little bit of cleanup on the belt grinder, but it's on the front edge. It doesn't even really matter. Main thing I was worried about was clearancing where these bins are. And as you can tell, the plate's laying flat. So I'm pretty happy with that. Popped it on the other side just to see. I mean, honestly, guys, if we kind of just match this to that, I don't see why we couldn't use that for both sides. Went ahead and got the second one cut out. Uh, also freehanded this little M. Might make something cool for my wife. I don't know. I just wanted a little practice with the plasma. Like I said, I'm not the best at it, but hey, it's a start. Let's get our PPE on. A little ear protection because I want to still be able to hear when I'm 40. And uh, let's get these things cleaned up. Pretty money, guys. I like that. I still clean it up, make the edges completely flat, but that looks good. All right, I had to clean up a little bit in here and get some air in the air compressor. It's way too loud to record with that thing going. So while that was happening, I went ahead and started making the lower engine mounts. Here's what I got so far. So I started making these out of some poster board, taped together. I think this part's gonna be made out of eighth inch steel, but basically, come on, man. Basically, these dudes will sit right here on top of the plate. And this mount will weld onto them. My plan with this mount is actually gonna to be to make it in one sheet of eighth inch steel and then bend it on the brake in these three places and only have one edge to, edge to weld together. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to accomplish that on my little homemade press brake, but I'm gonna try. Got the plasma hooked up. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out. I got it marked right here, so we'll see how I can do.
All right, so there we go. That's rough, uh, but it doesn't look too bad. And we'll clean up the edges on the belt grinder. We'll clean these um, radiuses out with a flap disc and make sure they fit the tube mount pretty well. And then we'll bend it up on our vise over there. Should be good to go. Catch you guys mounted to my tire rack. So this bar is conveniently in the way of the shot, but it's the only place I could really find to stick the camera while I was on the press brake. What, buddy? Well, we were close. <laughs> if you consider a half inch gap close, um, that sucks. I might be able to bend this more and get it pretty close. So let's try that and see, see where that gets us. Okay. Closer. All right, so I put it in the vise, clamped it together. Everything looks pretty straight. And now I have the perfect area to weld this up. So I think I'm gonna try to weld it up and then start grinding it down, clean it up and see what it looks like. Not my best welds, but they're gonna get ground down anyways. So that'll work. All right, so I got these cleaned up, got it fitting nicely. Should be ready to weld. Kinda wish I made my base plates bigger, but that's okay. Um, they do fit all the way around. But I'm going to go ahead and get the other side cut out and get it made. And I'll get back to you once that one's done. Alright, there we go. Just like that, I got two of them ready to weld out. They're matching, I'm pretty happy with it. Just need to weld those up. We'll get them on the base plates and start making our plates on the side of the engine. All right, well, that took longer than expected, but I got both sides tacked in. So uh, it's about dinner time now. Probably gonna head on into the house, but uh, first I'll let you check these out. That's what they look like from here. Pretty happy with how that turned out overall. Uh, it's dinner time now though, so I'm gonna run inside and eat and jump back on this tomorrow night. Got the plates marked out that are going to go on the side of the engine block. Going to go ahead and drill the holes for the mounting points and get these cut out with the plasma. There's one. Now I just need to do it again. The settings are a little off on my plasma, so it could have been better, but it's not the worst. A little bit of cleanup on that end for sure. We'll get it all taken care of though. Got a little more dialed in on the second and she came out pretty clean. Bolted these together, trued them up. So now they're matching pretty good. Should be ready to bolt them onto the block and start building some tabs off of them. My ADHD had me sidetracked. I've been over there cleaning up my bolt bin for a minute, but I finally found some bolts to bolt the plates onto the block. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these bolted on and then put the bushings in the mounts down there and start making the tabs off of these to bolt to that. Found four of these. Um, I think they'll work to go through our base plates down into our subframe to bolt the engine down. So I just need to drill these holes out a little larger in our base plates and we'll get those tacked in too. That way I can tack the whole mount together 
before I start trying to figure out exactly where everything goes. Got these uh, reamed out with our Christmas tree bit. They fit pretty perfect. So I'm gonna end up tack welding these to the base plate, or well, probably just full welding them because they are gonna be completely hidden, obviously, by this. So once they're in there, they're in there. I wasn't gonna fully weld these yet. I was just gonna leave them tacked. But since I'm gonna go ahead and weld my nuts or my bolts to my base plate, these are gonna go on top of those and encapsulate them. I might as well weld all this up. That's a little warm. Yeah. We'll let these cool off and then we'll put the base plates back in the subframe, tack these to those and pull them back out and full weld them. I want to tack them in the car though to make sure they're square with the engine. Whoopsie, camera died. Um, I did go ahead, let me show you, hold on. Get you flipped around this way. I did go ahead and full weld the mounts. If it'll focus. And I got them bolted in. And then I started making, I started making the piece that's gonna come off the plate, the bolt to those, and it's gonna look a little something like this. But I'm gonna put a bend in it to miss the nut or the bolts for the engine mounts, and it's gonna land like that. Camera was messing up on me last night, so I just stopped recording and kept working. But I got these clamshells made for the mounts that you can see right there. They're bolted in and sitting on the plates. My engine is sitting at zero right now. I checked the car, triple checked the engine and the car multiple times. They're both at zero. There's not much tension on this chain right here right now because the engine's actually sitting down on the mounts. I need to go ahead and tack those and then get them pulled out and fully weld them. And I'm gonna have to clearance out right here. You can't see it very good, but right here where this bolt goes into the mount, I actually had to pull that bolt out because my clamshell is hitting that bolt right now. So I will probably just cut out the corner of the clamshell right there to clearance around that bolt. Couldn't see real well. Hopefully my tacks are decent. Uh, we'll pull it out, see what we're looking like and then get it fully welded up. You okay, buddy? Yeah. You're doing all right, cover your mouth. You know, I said I was getting sick. Pretty sure we both got sick. So he's been out here helping me and we both been coughing our heads off. So I did my best to make these even side to side. As you can tell, this one's a little crooked and this one's more straight. I think I'm probably gonna go ahead and take this one and straighten it up. Um, the only thing that worries me is that it was all sitting at zero degrees in the car with it straight. So I don't know how much that'll twist the engine, but I think it'll be okay. And I would rather them be at symmetrical. It was really bothering me that they weren't square. So I jigged them up a little bit here Still need to pull this this way just a touch. And then they should be straight. This one right now is loose. So I'm gonna straighten these up and then I'm gonna burn them in. Got the mounts welded up. For some reason I really fudged that area up. The rest of it's okay though. 
Now I need to take a plasma and cut the corner out where this bolt hole is on both of them. And I'll have to clean that up with a burr bit, but definitely got to get room for this bolt because I would like to use all four bolts on the block. Mounted and counted. Guys, I am stoked on this right now. These mounts turned out very good. I'm not entirely pleased with how some of my welds look on them, but I know they're strong. Got plenty of penetration welded on all sides. Let's check these things out. There she be. So as you can see, I did go ahead and notch for that top bolt and I actually notched enough that I can fit a ratchet wrench in there. And this is what they look like from the top side, looking down. I am stoked on that, guys. That looks so clean. It'll look even better painted. There'll be a manifold on it so you'll never see the damn things anyways. But yeah, I am happy with that. Just flipped on my level, or angle finder, whatever you want to call it. Zero degrees. We are sitting exactly where we wanted to. I'm so, so freaking stoked on the way that turned out. Um, let me get some of this mess out of the way here and we'll check it out on the bottom side and check out what we got going on for the trans mount as well. Here's a quick look underneath. Maybe, there we go. All right. Yep, that'll do. And the other side, yep, that'll do. I'm pretty happy on that. Okay, so it's gonna be a little harder for me to film down here but originally whoops to get my fingers out of the way originally my plan was going to be use the stock trans mount and then make a mount off of it for the t56 mount but i don't think that's going to work i'm going to slowly let this down and see how much it moves with the engine bolted in okay more than i would like so we're gonna get this jacked back up. Uh, I'm gonna bolt the shifter on, and then we're gonna get this jacked back up and see where we're gonna end up with a jack stand under this so that I can start playing with mounts. Got the shifter bolted on for mock-up. Um, this shifter is bent kind of in an S shape. We're definitely gonna need a different shifter, probably one that's more so straight up and down or just a slight bend in it. Currently hitting um, trying to go into second, fourth, and sixth, and I'll show you why. Okay, like I said, we're hitting, going into second, fourth, and sixth, and you can kind of see why right there. We're just going to have to notch our shifter hole out a little bit for clearance because I do have the engine a little further back than most swap kits would land it. Um, normally, the swap kits have this basically in line with this, whereas we're quite a ways in front of it. So onto the trans mount, I got our poly mount on there. I'm thinking I'm gonna do something like this with a piece of tube that's bent and just have a bracket come off to here. Um, we're gonna need slightly more of a bend than what this one has in it, but that should not be an issue. So I think Actually, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and bend one up with a little more of a bend than this has and see where that puts us at. Got one with a almost a 90 in it. And that looks ridiculous because the bend radius is so big. I feel like even if you took some off of that, that's gonna look goofy. <sighs> okay. I could also make it out of eighth inch steel, just come off with 3 16 plate to here and then box in with eighth inch steel 
up and across, which wouldn't be terrible, but it would put us mounting it, bolting it up here and having it all hang off back here. So I don't know if I'm in love with that either. So I think I figured out the trans mount. Got my tube here, just got it cleaned up. It's ready to tack in. Um, let me take you under the car and show you what I got going on. So I did go ahead and plasma cut plates out for here and here. And this tube is now ready to tack in. And it's gonna go just like that. So I'm gonna get it tacked in and then Oops, I'll figure out where this tube's gonna go so that I can notch this tube out on this end to cope it right here and weld them all together. And then I'll figure out the bracket to go to this and we will be done. Got my tube fully welded in here. This thing looks awesome. I am stoked on it. So I made this little piece, cleaned it all up. It's gonna go right here on the end where this is notched. And that'll weld on like that. As you can tell, I already got a prep to weld. And then I just need to make a tab coming off the tube up to my trans mount. That should be pretty solid. So let's get this welded up and we'll start working on the tab. That's fully welded. And now I've got this cardboard template cut out of that right there that should be pretty dialed in for the trans mount that'll allow us to use the two outer holes on it and then i'll make a piece that wraps around to here um that'll be dimple dyed and it'll look pretty sweet i think so i'm happy with that let's go cut it out with the plasma Mount is fully welded. I've been picking up the shop for a minute while this thing cooled off. Let's get it bolted on underneath the car and finally see this drivetrain in there under its own weight for the first time. Would've helped if I had light this whole time, huh? All right, guys. Ow, son of a... There we go. She is fully mounted. I love the way that turned out. Um, it looks pretty clean. It's higher up in the car than the lowest point on the transmission so i'm happy with that the transmission is no longer touching anywhere as you can see right there we are close but not touching clearance out all right there nothing's hitting hard to see but there is an air gap there there you go so all that is clearanced trans mount is done i'm gonna have to like i said cut a little bit there but all in all it's mounted. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap this video here. Um, I'm super happy with that. It's finally mounted in, it's done. We do still have a tiny bit of fab work left to do on the steering rack because we have to make mounts to relocate it. That shouldn't be too big of a deal. Um, next though, I've gotta get started on ripping the interior out, start working on the wiring, start working on cleaning up the firewall area where we had to cut everything and stuff like that so we'll be getting uh, cleaning that up we'll be getting to cleaning that up next if you like this video if you like the build please hit that subscribe button down below i'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers and i would love to see the subscriber count grow uh let me know what you think about my mounts that i've made um, all you internet welders out there tell me how much my welds suck really appreciate it 
All right, any comment is a good comment. So leave it down below and I will see you guys on the next one.